Good morning, Todd. How have you been? Busy, busy, busy. We're building up to Country Fest this weekend, and it has been a crazy time behind the scenes. Wow. Hasn't yeah. the weather been just fantastic? And if we can hold on to it for this weekend, that's all I'm asking. We need the beautiful weather, but it has been great. You're right. You know, your your crew's going to be out there with us on Sunday. Looking forward to having them handle the registration for backstage passes to meet Lone Star and to have uh, folks win some stuff. So I just wanted to let you know we're looking very much forward to the Bruce L. Shiner crew hanging out with us. Well, they're all looking forward to being there. Good, good, good. Listen, I don't want to keep you too long this morning because I know you're a busy guy. Got a question from somebody who would like... I can answer if that's okay. We'll throw it out to you. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Says, I was in a truck accident off of 75 in Fort Myers and got pretty banged up from a severe neck injury, which the doctor tells me I need to wear a neck brace for the next six weeks to back injuries and a broken leg. It says pretty banged up. That's sort of an understatement. Says, I hired an accident attorney right away to handle my case. Because I was out of work with my injuries, I got behind on my bills. Some are in collection. It got so bad that I hired a bankruptcy lawyer who recommended I file Chapter 7 bankruptcy, which I did. I had told my bankruptcy lawyer I had a settlement pending. Now I've been notified that my insurance company is willing to settle for the policy maximum of $100,000. However, when I told my accident lawyer about filing Chapter 7 bankruptcy, he informed me I may not be getting any of the settlement money. Is this correct? Got a very complicated case here, Bruce. What do you think? Well, you know, it's it's very important that when you're in a significant accident that you discuss all the factors with your personal injury lawyer. Personally, I never recommend that anyone um, file bankruptcy until the case is resolved mm. and they have mm. their money and they could, you know, dispose of their money or direct their money in the proper uh, manner because the bankruptcy does own this accident claim. Mm -hmm. And depending on how many creditors there are, they could, in fact, take all the money. Oh, my. So, you know, the, the moral of the story is that when you're in an accident, even if you have things that aren't specifically related to the accident, but are financial, you should be discussing that with your lawyer so he could give you direction and mm-hmm. not um, jeopardize, you know, the proceeds from mm-hmm. the case. Because I imagine this kind of thing happens a lot where somebody's out of work for a significant amount of time. And if they were your client, for example, they would come to you and say, I can't make my ends meet. I can't pay my bills. What do I do? But you're able to provide some advice. Yes, we give them advice. And the first thing I tell people is that, you know, we don't have debtor's prison anymore. Mm -hmm. So they can't put you in jail for not paying your bills and you know, it's best to wait to have the money because once you have the money, you could, you know, negotiate Mm -hmm. um, a reduction with the creditors. And and sometimes, you know, you could take a large debt and and be able to get it resolved for a little bit of money Mm -hmm. by being able to pay it all in one, you know, at one time. That's a good point. Cash really does talk. So if you can take care of it all at one fell swoop, they're willing to, they're willing to budge. That's that's for sure. That's my experience. Well, Bruce, I hope that provides a little bit of of information that that this person can use moving forward. It seems to me as if he needs to get both attorneys on the same page, uh, if nothing else. That would be very helpful. Yeah, yeah. Well, Bruce, thank you so much. Hate to tell you about these these horrible things that happen every every Wednesday. But on the other hand, uh, people need help. And then again, you've told me on more than one occasion, it's like going back to law school, isn't it? (laughs) Sure is, and it's it's a lot very satisfying to be able to answer people's questions and, and to be able to help them. Well, we do appreciate your time very much, and I look forward to talking to you next week. I'm looking forward to it as well, Todd.